Hello friends, welcome. It is week four of the Sweater Season Quilt Along and this week we are doing the scarf block and this week is like a gift <laughs> because it is pieced um, straight sewing so there's no triangles, no cutting, um, just super super easy sewing but it's even taking it a step further and we are doing um, strip sets so it will go even faster. <laughs> so I can't wait to share you all the things. Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Long from Be So Inspired. So this is week four. I do have a couple of things I wanna share with you um, afterwards. So make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna sh show you something uh, really cool that's free that you can, um, can make to sort of complement all of this. And I will share that information with you at the end. But today is the scarf. So. We are doing the three scarf sets. You do two strips again. So you do one at the top and one at the bottom. And you are going to be doing them um, little scarves, but they are pieced in different orders. So just make sure that you are aware that so it goes blue, pink, and uh, green, and then it goes green, the teal, blue, and the pink. So just make sure that you are aware um, when you are piecing them together. So the scarf, a couple of tips and tricks to remember about the scarf is that if you are doing a stripe or a directional print, it looks so great because this is actually just one piece of fabric. So it's going to go, going to go really fast. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. Um, but it's the stripe going this, this direction. So if you cut it with the fabric, you'll have no problem. But if you're using any other fabrics, um, just be aware of the direction that you are printing. If you're putting the strips going lengthwise, it wouldn't have the same kind of a knitted look. So that's just one thing to consider. And then these pieces are actually built in strip sets. So you can find that information on page eight. Um, you'll build the strip sets um, in long pieces and then you'll just slice them up, um, sub cut them into the fours that you'll need, the one on each side of the scarf for two kind, two of the colorways. Um, if you flip over to page nine, it will tell you again how many you need of each, which is two of each colorway, and it'll give you the finished measurement. So it couldn't be easier, except you just want to make sure you do directional and that you've got your strip sets uh, sewn. So when you are sewing lots of tiny little pieces like we are here, just be aware of your quarter inch seam allowance. So that really goes all the time when you're sewing, but especially when you're sewing many pieces in many little uh, strips because um, you know if you use a little bit larger than a quarter inch seam then you're going to have um, a piece that's not big enough and if you use uh, quite a scant quarter inch seam then you're going to have a piece that's too big <laughs> so that's just something to wear to be aware of and that's why we give you measurements for all the pieces all the way along so you can make sure that you're on the right track so super exciting I've got my two scarf blocks uh, strips ready to go to assemble. I'm just going to fold them up and get put them away. So I have my hat blocks and I have my scarf blocks ready this week already and um, can't wait for next week. But before you go, um, I know this is a quick video because this is going to be an easy week. It's sort of your midweek, uh, mid close along catch up. Before you go, I do have some fun to share. First of all, thank you so much for tagging me always at Be So Inspired and using the hashtag Be So Inspired and Sweater Season Quilt Along and Sweater Season Quilt so I can make sure that I find you. I appreciate that so much. Um, <clears throat> lots of people are making the doll panels with this so you can grab a doll panel and it comes in, in the two colorways. There's actually four different doll panels, so that's fun. But here is the... Um, the extra bonus. So my dear friend, Deb Zaleski made this for me as a gift with sweater season fabric. And what it is, is perfect because it is in the knitted Argyle print with the other knitted print. And it is for my knitting needles. So how perfect is that? So you open it up and look at this. So you won't poke yourself with any of the needles because there's this great flap in here. And then look at all these wonderful pockets she's put. So I have to organize all my needles and everything in here. But look at all of these different uh, pockets in here. Isn't that extra fun? And she's even fussy cut the family on there. It's so beautiful. 
Um, and she's offering to, or she's offered to um, share this tutorial with you for free. So thank you from my heart, Deb, for that. So it's on the Be So Inspired website. If you look under sweater season, you'll see it there. She's a guest blogger on our site and she's giving you this tutorial completely for free, showcasing the sweater season fabric. So you can also make this because this is an easy week. Maybe you'll have some extra time to, to make this little project as well. Um, so you can knit and travel on the go underneath your quilt. <laughs> Lots of fun this week. So thank you from my heart for being here. Um, I so appreciate you. This is week four. We're on the downward slide, the downward slope after this. We've got week five, six, seven, and then we put it all together for week eight. So we're almost there. Um, thank you so much. <clears throat> and I should say happy Valentine's Day, even though it's a day after. Um, I, I am very grateful for you being here. So happy Valentine's Day to you and have a wonderful, um, wonderful week. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.